In today's video, I will talk in details about Delta variant. Can vaccinated people get infected with Delta variant? And the answer is yes. Vaccinated people can get infected with Delta variant. According to CDC, in US, 35,000 people of 162 million vaccinated people in US will develop symptomatic infection every week. Which means out of every 100,000 vaccinated people, 21 people will get COVID-19 symptoms. However, in case of unvaccinated people, 179 infections will be there among 100,000 people every week. So, when one is fully vaccinated, the chances of getting sick with COVID-19 is 8-fold reduced. But there is a chance of getting the infection. In case of hospitalization, 2 to 3 unvaccinated people will be hospitalized weekly out of every 100,000 people and one person will die weekly out of every 100,000 people when they are unvaccinated. But in case of fully vaccinated, 0.1% per 100,000 will be hospitalized and 0.04% per 100,000 will die weekly due to COVID-19. So, hospitalization and death is also possible after getting vaccinated but the chances are reduced by 25 fold. So, even if one gets infected by Delta variant, the chances of severe COVID-19 and death is reduced drastically when one is fully vaccinated. So, the first and foremost thing we all should do is to get ourselves fully vaccinated. Is Delta variant more transmissible? And again, the answer is yes. Delta variant is more transmissible. It is 40 to 60 percent more transmissible than alpha variant and almost twice as transmissible as original Wuhan variant. And it is found that both unvaccinated and vaccinated people have similar amount of viral load in their nose. That means even if one is vaccinated, they can still spread the virus. So, it is always better to wear masks and maintain physical distance and avoid indoor gathering so that we don't spread this variant. Let's look at a graph now. The horizontal line says in average number of people infected by a sick person. So, more right means spreading faster that is more transmissible. The vertical line says how deadly is the disease. More up means more deadly. Now, it was found that SARS-CoV-2 original strain was almost in the same line as common cold. But it was more deadly than the common cold. That's why it is on the upper side on the vertical line. However, Delta variant has moved to the right almost near the chicken pox. So, it means Delta variant is more transmissible than the original Wuhan strain. So, before one COVID-19 sick person would infect 2 to 3 people on an average. Now, with Delta variant, a 6 person can infect 5 to 9 people on an average. So, you can understand that Delta variant is much more transmissible than the original Wuhan strain. So, we should follow all the COVID norms more strictly now. Does Delta variant make people more sick? Recently, three studies have talked about it. One from Canada, one from Singapore and the other from Scotland. According to Canadian study, Delta variant carried 120% increased risk of hospitalization, 287% increased risk of ICU admission and 137% increased risk of death. According to Singapore study, Delta variant doubles the risk of pneumonia and according to the Scotland study, Delta variant doubles the risk of hospitalization. So, according to the data available till date, it seems that Delta variant makes people much more sick. So, what are the symptoms of Delta variant? It seems that the symptoms have changed a bit. Fever, headache, runny nose, sore throat are the common symptoms as compared to loss of smell which is not common anymore. Some severe symptoms include hearing impairment, severe gastrointestinal issue, blood clot, etc. So, the obvious question now in your mind is, are vaccines working against Delta variant? And the answer is again, 
Yes, I have made a couple of videos on the effect of vaccines on Delta variant. You can have a look at them. I will put the link in the description. Vaccines are working against Delta variant might be to a lesser extent, but still they are working and you can see from the data. Vaccines are like helmets while riding bike. It gives you protection, but it does not mean you can have a reckless drive. So even if you are vaccinated, you have to follow the COVID norms. That's it for today guys. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.